you know, every successful society has realized that some form of government is good, you know, and that we need to give government a monopoly over certain things. The most modern successful societies give government a monopoly over violence. Um, many of them in the past have given government a monopoly over surveillance. And so, and these, these are things where we've realized that there are some things we only want the government to do. But every society has also realized that there are other things where we want the government to be the coordination mechanism. We want them to collect money, but then delegate the responsibility to someone else. So there's a whole host of stakeholders in any society that are non-governmental, but are doing the collective work of society. There's a long history of self-regulatory organizations of different kinds in industries ranging from chemicals to cotton to financial services to nuclear power. Um, you know, this dates back to the medieval guilds who would sort of set standards in a government sort of neutral way. And not all of these have been successes, but they've taught us some valuable lessons about the, the bounds on and what makes self-regulation work. But it's important to put this in the context of while you know, certain things about hotels or about taxis or about food safety have in the last 50 years been dominantly regulated by government. The idea that someone else participates in the regulation is not new. It's just new for certain industries. And so drawing these boundaries is an iterative process because um, it's in the interest of business to say, well, society's interests are aligned with mine. And so just leave me alone to do whatever I want to do. And we don't want to go to that extreme either. But when you think about what's unique about the sharing economy platforms, um, they are not providing a lot of the goods and services themselves. They are fundamentally intermediaries, which means that they gain visibility into the transactions at a unprecedented level. Um, they have an interest in facilitating safe, and sort of like, you know, in facility, first of all, they have, they have an interest in preventing market failure. They have an interest in making sure that things are safe. They have an interest in, you know, the participants on the platform and the people around them, you know, having a good societal experience. And so they're natural allies to the government for a lot of regulation. Um, we just have to reframe the thinking um, from what it is today, which is that the platform needs to be regulated to a framing where you say the platform and the government are natural partners for the regulating of certain things. They aren't natural partners for the regulating of other things. And so we need to bring in other entities, either the government or third parties, maybe homeowner associations have to play a role to some extent in um, like, you know, deciding certain things about Airbnb hosting. Maybe there are... Um, like, you know, driver cooperatives or, you know, that maybe there are driver organizations that are going to sort of play a role in standard setting for safety. Maybe there are peer networks that will play a role in facilitating food safety in the future. Because, you know, when you look at any industry and under any form of regulation and examine it closely, you realize that there's a an idealized goal of what society wants. And then there's the reality of where we've, where, we've, where we've reached. I mean, like, you know, what, so any form of regulation is inherently going to be inefficient. I mean, restaurant safety is good, but it's not perfect. It would be perfect if we stationed an inspector in every restaurant and had them inspect every piece of food. Mm -hmm. And people laugh at me when I say this, they're like, come on, this is impractical. I say, yeah, but it means that we do make trade-offs already and so as the supply model changes, where we draw the line may change and what we do to sort of ensure the safety may also change. And so I guess the, the, the summary of this is that one, self-regulation <clears throat> doesn't mean no regulation. It means regulation by someone other than the government. There's a long history of self-regulation in successful societies and the platforms and the governments, rather than being at odds, are in fact very well aligned and very well suited to be partners in regulating a lot of the commercial activity that takes place on the platforms.